There are a ton of Disney stories and facts that we'd love to make into a video that we just can't. Most of the time they're either too short or too irrelevant to what we're trying to create, but considering that there are thousands of these, we thought, why not just put most of them together into a video? So that's exactly what we're doing starting now. Walt Disney World has chicken pens located strategically around its land. Now these are not for eating, but are in fact used to monitor for mosquito-borne diseases to prevent the outbreak of life-threatening illnesses. Hong Kong Disneyland did not make a profit until seven years after it opened. Splash Mountain was originally going to be known as Zippity D River Run. However, Michael Eisner wanted to instead name the attraction after the hit Tom Hanks and Daryl Hannah film Splash, and thus Splash Mountain was born, despite having nothing to do with the film. At Disneyland, there is a piece of petrified wood believed to be up to 70 million years old that was purchased by Walt Disney in 1956 and was given to Lillian Disney as a wedding anniversary gift. Mrs. Disney then passed this gift on to Disneyland in 1957, reportedly saying that the tree was too large for the mantle at home. The Disney Park's Rice Krispie Treat on a stick contains 30 more calories than a McDonald's cheeseburger. Originally, Tokyo Disneyland and Disney Sea were forbidden to advertise outside of Japan as they are the only theme parks that are licensed by the Disney company, instead of them having a direct stake in the business. If Pirates of the Caribbean requires an evacuation and it is deemed unsafe to move the boats automatically, then cast members are required to wade the water and move the boats manually to safe dispatch areas. This requires so many cast members that any person working in the park at the time who is trained in this role is required to leave their post if it is safe to do so and assist in the evacuation. In 2015, Disneyland kicked off their 60th anniversary with a 24 hour party from 6 a.m. Friday to 6 a.m. Saturday. The event was an absolute mess with guests getting into fights, crowds outside of Disney's control, and people sleeping in the park that made the local news. Disney has not done another 24 hour event since. At Disneyland, Tinkerbell is often launched from the Matterhorn on a zip line to a location backstage during the fireworks. In the past, the zip line didn't offer a sophisticated stopping mechanism and instead, there was a group of cast members waiting to catch the actor or actress with a mattress to slow them down. And yes, you heard that correctly, Tinkerbell isn't always played by a woman. From that distance, it's mostly the size that counts in the role. A lot of the flagpoles in the parks have fake flags on them, and these are reserved as lightning rods. The Dominguez Palm is the tallest tree in Adventureland and is 60 years older than Disneyland itself having stood in that exact position since 1896, when the original landowner Ron Dominguez sold his orange farm to Disney, he asked if Walt would save this tree as it was planted as a wedding gift to Ron's grandparents. Walt didn't just save the tree, he built the entirety of Adventureland around it. At almost all times of the day, Disney theme parks are populated by cast members, divided into three shifts. First shift operates in the mornings, second shift operates in the evenings, and third shift operates when the park closes. They do the nightly maintenance, cleaning, and repairs as the park gets ready for another day of guests where first shift will take back over. Almost all Disney theme parks have a squad of plainclothes security officers who secretly monitor the theme park. Likely if you see a lone gentleman covered head to toe in Disney gear wearing sunglasses, just kind of looking around, then chances are they may be an undercover security guard, but probably don't bother them, just in case. The windows on Main Street have names in them that represent key influential figures to the parks that they're presented within. Within the Pirates of the Caribbean queue at the Magic Kingdom, there are two skeletons playing chess in a dungeon. Their game is at a stalemate. The most expensive room on a Disney cruise is the upcoming two-story Wish Tower Suite aboard the Disney Wish cruise ship. Located in one of the cruise ship funnels, this 1966 square foot penthouse will set you back almost 21,000 US dollars for two adults aboard a three night sailing from Port Canaveral. The Tower of Terror at Hollywood Studios is designed to match up with the facade of Morocco of Epcot when looking at it, a cross world showcase lagoon. Push the talking trash can was a remotely controlled trash can that wandered around Tomorrowland in several Disney theme parks. 
Instead of being controlled from a central location like you might think it would be, it was actually operated by a cast member in plain clothes with one hand in a duffel bag which controlled the trash can's movement where they discreetly talk into a microphone with their other hand whilst pretending to scratch their face. The R2-D2 that currently roams around Galaxy's Edge today works in the exact same way. Above Test Track and most other pavilions at Epcot sponsored by a corporation, there is a VIP lounge exclusive to that corporate sponsors, employees and retirees. At Disneyland near the castle over to the right is a wishing well with statues of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. These were a gift to Walt Disney for the theme park but each statue was made at the same height, including Snow White. Well, to fix this, Walt had the statues arranged at angles that created the illusion that Snow White was larger than the dwarves, despite not being larger than the dwarves. Epcot is the only Disney theme park that has a second entrance that isn't attached to a hotel. Above New Orleans Square at Disneyland are boat sails that can extend above the facade. This is to give the illusion that the area is larger than it actually is, despite these sails literally just being bolted to the roof. It gives that illusion that beyond those buildings is the sea. Splash Mountain's mountain is called Chickapin Hill. You used to be able to scuba dive in the Seas Pavilion at Epcot in an experience called Dive Quest, which costs 179 US dollars per person. There are a ton of weird and interesting activities that you can do like this around Walt Disney World. Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm just down the road have always had a friendly rivalry with each other, but one piece of Knott's history actually exists within Disneyland. The Frontierland entrance to Galaxy's Edge features an old abandoned stagecoach, and if you look careful, printed on it is Wilderness Expeditions and Delivery Services, clearly being a reference to WD Enterprises and Walter Elias Disney. But if you look closely though, you'll notice that the W in Wilderness looks strangely similar to the Knott's Berry Farm K. And this is because this stagecoach originally called Knott's Home, with Disney creating a loving homage to its original owner. Disney cruise ships have two funnels protruding from the top, and whilst only one is necessary for modern cruise ships, they found that having two inspired a more elegant and striking look. Because of this, the one at the front is entirely fake and often serves different functions depending on the sailing. Many Disney parks have resident stray cats which hide during the day and come out at night. Now Disney doesn't trap or rehome them because they actually help with the pests. There was a Japanese Disneyland before Tokyo Disneyland. Kind of. A Japanese businessman and president of Matsuo Entertainment Company, Kunizo Matsuo, approached Walt Disney about constructing a Japanese Disney theme park in his hometown of Nara in the late 1950s, almost two decades before Tokyo Disneyland would even begin discussion. Now Walt actually bought into the idea himself as he wanted to expand the brand as much as possible. After work began, the relationship between the two businessmen quickly soured after a massive dispute involving licensing fees which covered the Disney characters used within the park. But with so much of the park already under construction, Kunizo persisted with the project and opened Nara Dreamland as an unofficial Japanese Disneyland. The park was actually successful until Disney worked out an agreement with the Oriental Land Company in the 1980s to open an official Disneyland in Tokyo in 1983 that still exists today. Nara Dreamland then quickly declined and ultimately closed in 2006 and has been completely demolished. Hidden in a tree near the entrance to Indiana Jones Adventure is the home of the little man of Disneyland. Originally installed due to the popularity of the little golden book of the same name, his house over time disappeared for years only to be reintroduced back to the park for the 60th anniversary. As you exit the Little Mermaid attraction at the Magic Kingdom, look to your right and focus on this select group of boulders. When lined up exactly, they create a hidden Steamboat Willie in one of the most impressive hidden Mickeys I've ever seen. If you pay enough money, the Magic Kingdom will allow you to play custom music during the nighttime fireworks at private events. 
Guests staying in hotels near the Magic Kingdom have heard the music for Happily Ever After and wishes two retired shows played recently in the parks after hours. In the tunnels underneath the Magic Kingdom is a barber shop that only does Disney approved hairstyles. It's called Kingdom Cutters with a K. If you were to visit the area where Hong Kong Disneyland is located in 2001, then you would fall into the waters of what was known as Penny's Bay. The park exists entirely on reclaimed land and the bay no longer exists in any capacity. When picking up rubbish, cast members are required to do the Disney scoop where they elegantly lower themselves to the ground without extending their butt into the air, so not as to be considered rude to the guests. From 1955 until the year 2000, cast members were prohibited from having facial hair, despite Walt Disney having facial hair. Shades of Green is a resort located at Walt Disney World which is exclusively for active or retired military members and their families. Each land in the Magic Kingdom has a specific colour for its concrete as Kodak and Disney did a study which found that light reflecting off coloured concrete creates more vivid photographs. The original submarine ride at Disneyland used to contain actresses that were hired as mermaids that sat on the rocks and waved to guess. They were retired after many complaints about problems with the water being contaminated by harmful liquids used in the machinery that ran the submarine ride. The Dream Suite, located within Cinderella Castle at the Magic Kingdom, used to be an on-site call center which serviced Walt Disney World. At the end of the attraction, when you're landing the Falcon in Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, make sure to look out for who is taking off at the same time as you may just see a very familiar ship a star speed of 3000 from start to us. And that concludes this week's list, but I'd like to know, did you learn something? Was there something that you didn't know? We have thousands more of these and we can definitely do more of these if you enjoy it. As well, you can also get this amazing hoodie from amusingtradingcode.com in our little secret menu. You may not be able to find it, but I think it's a pretty special hoodie. For the home of all things wacky and wonderful Disney facts and theme parks, I'm Dom from Review Time. Thanks for watching.